If you need captions when you're watching a video, particularly if it's a live video, then using Google Chrome will sort that out for you. And it doesn't matter whether you're using Windows or Mac. I'm here on a Mac, but I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows as well. So make sure you've got the latest version of Google Chrome, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So here it is. I'm in Google Chrome. I'm just going to go up to my top right hand corner, click on these three dots. I'm going to go into the settings down the bottom here. And down the side here, you've got accessibility. Click on that. There it says live caption, and there are some options. So let's click there. My preferred language is English. So I'm just going to click on that. I've got French because I downloaded that, but I'm going to keep it on English. Let's click here on add languages, and you'll see there are other languages here. It's not an extensive list, but you might find what you're looking for there. All you'd have to do is click on one. So if I clicked on German, Deutsch, and click on add, you'll see it downloads the speech recognition files. I've now got that there as well. You can delete them if you're not going to use them. So I don't need that German one. Let's remove that. You've got options here like hide profanities, live translate, which is useful into another language, caption preferences. I'm just going to click on this. And this now takes me into my settings here. And I can have different subtitles to how they'd look. If you are hard of hearing, and you want the SDH here as well, or closed captions will be used instead of standard subtitles, you can turn that on too. I'm not going to use that, so I'm just going to switch that off. Let's now go to a channel here. This is my channel. Let's see what happens if I click on play. Other apps to do this, like Epoch and also Neuralcam, but it's nice that they've got this built into Ventura and it works with iOS 16. And a okay, number and of compatible let me phone. just pause that. I can move this around. I don't have to pause to move it around. So I can move it wherever I want. You can also make it a bit bigger. There's an arrow down the bottom here. Click on that, makes it bigger. It's gone off the screen. If I move it back up, I can reduce the size. So I can put it wherever I like. So how I'm going to do this if I'm in Windows? Well, I'm over here in Windows. Guess what? Very similar. I can go to my top right hand corner, click on the three dots. Again, I'm in Chrome. Go to settings. Down the side here, it's accessibility. This is where it's just a little bit different. And that is over here, it's got caption preferences. I click on that and it opens another window, which is my accessibility captions. I'm going to switch on live captions here. And I then have similar things that I can adjust. It's got a little welcome here. Set up live captions to continue. Just click on download. And there you go. That's almost done there. Ready for captions US. So it's got US English. So here I've got the live captions are on. The caption style, I can choose what I want white on black, small caps. You'll see it's changing over here so I can see it. I can edit the caption style, so I can change colors. I don't think that's a good idea, but you can see I can change the colors. I can change the size of the text as well, and so on. So that's how it works there. So let's now go back to here. And what I'm going to do now is go to a website. So one thing that is a little bit different here is if I want to choose a different language, up at the top, it says ready to caption in English, United States. If I click on this little gear icon here, I can choose another language. So you can see the ideas are the same, but they're just in a different place. So let's just go to add language. And again, I could just choose my language from here. There appear to be more languages. OK, so let's just close that. So there you go, it's ready to caption. Okay, let's go over to here. Let's go to getting started with Excel tables. It's another one of my videos. I'm just going to click cool. on play to show you that it's nice and easy to there manage it is. your it's data coming up at the top there. using tables. It's going to do things like format it more nicely for me. I'm going to be able to sort. I'm going to be able to filter. And I can change and the position. And you're going to be able to see that I'm going to be able to use below the screen. I'm going to call real names 
to do calculations with. So pause let the video me here for a second. So if I click on that again, I can choose a position overlaid on the screen. Once it's overlaid, I can move it around just like I did with Windows as well. So there you have it. That is how you can add captions. So if you want to stop the captions here on Windows, you would click on this little cross here. That would stop it. If you are on the Mac, up at the top here, you've got this little symbol here with the little music symbol. Click on it. And over here, it's got live caption English. Click on it to turn it off. So that's where you can also turn it on. So if you click here, go to live caption, and there you are. That's what you can do to get live captions particularly useful for live streaming. Thanks for watching.